Cancun, baby. <laughs> baby, sleep on Hannibal. Day one pretty much went how most of our day ones go. We get here, get excited. Eat food, drink beer, walk around, see the place. That's exactly what we did. But the resort is beautiful. The lobbies here are gorgeous. It's all real plants everywhere. Our first impression of the Paradisas was not a great one. We get in our room and I'm like, do we have a reserve room? We are in a room we don't know what it exactly it is. He said, you're not VIP, but that was probably the worst check-in I've had. And we have a double bed. Would have preferred a king? As we go throughout our day, we're finding little things that we weren't told to check in. It is spring break. There's a lot of youngsters running around here partying. Gonna have to show them how to party. I don't think I drank too much. James did drink too much. Yeah. Uh, wait, am I still talking? Thankfully, we have two beds. Between yesterday and today, we had two totally different experiences. So today, I feel like is day one, and we are starting over, and we're going to enjoy the hell out of this trip. On day two of Paradises in Cancun, we learned some shit. And this is how it went. Day two, Paradises Cancun. When you arrive at the Paradises Cancun, you are going to be given your wristbands. These are your room keys, and you will be given this little pamphlet. This is your map of the Paradises Cancun Resort, and then QR codes that are going to be your saving grace. This is a general information QR code for general information in regards to the restaurants, the bars, spa, room service, that kind of stuff. So scan this with your camera and download the PDF, and then the PDF will be in your files or in your download. It's not really sure how accurate it is because it says that lemon fish is closed, but it's definitely open. And then on the back, there is your room number and um, the activities QR code. The activities on here are listed out daily and they're in Spanish and English. There is a kids activities calendar as well. Again, I'm not really sure how accurate that is either. There is like a daytime one, nighttime, and then one for the kids area. The app for the Malia company is right here. The app is useless. It literally is just for rewards points, I think. Keep this. This will be a nice little handy guide for you. It's real small, just fits it in your purse. I was told yesterday that these little cabanas down here at the beach, they are free to use by anybody up until 11 o'clock a.m. After that, they are get rented out. You wanna get out of here? I think we need to go down to the beach or something. When you come out of your rooms, look for the staircases. That's where your elevators are. Thankfully today we have everything squared away. This gentleman ran after us named Enrique and said he was our personal assistant today and he was gonna help us out since we had such a cluster yesterday. He took us around the resort and gave us a nice little tour and got our all of our meals scheduled, showed us where we can eat for lunch, breakfast. Well, he told us what to expect. This is stuff that we should have probably done yesterday. He saved us a little bit of time today. It is a big resort, but it's all very close together. It's not spread apart. All of your restaurants are like one general area like pyramid three the pools are pretty big the bigger pool where there is a swim up bar is where everything goes down and then on the other side of that it gets shallower if you're a family looking to come here that's probably where you would want to be which is the same pool it's just a very long pool there's another pool here on the other side which is a little bit more chilled and relaxed i guess and then there's a section also that is just for reserve members only i don't know if that's in the same pool or not is that a separate pool so there's three pools yeah, so there's three pools here total, I guess. I don't know that for sure, but I will double check that and you will know by the time this video comes out. We've been kind of just running around all morning. Vacation to me is like not sitting around scheduling things. And that's what the beginning of today was like. No mas. No mas. Beautiful beach in the middle of the hotel zone in Cancun. The water is just gorgeous. The beach is gorgeous. They do a good job with upkeep of the beach. So cool. It's raining. Look out there. Meteorologist Brandy says we have about 15 minutes. Oh, I feel water drop. We got some rain coming our way. My hair doesn't do well when it gets wet. We need to pick up the speed. We were just out on the beach. It started pouring on us. I think it's done now though. Went down to the store and they wanted $14 for deodorant. So we are gonna go out and check out the golf course out front of the resort and walk to the pharmacy, which is right across the street. A super simple walk. The front of the resort is one big golf course. So it's a nine hole golf course and I'm not really sure if it's included. That's a nice little perk um, to the resort if it's included. If not, if it's an additional little fee, it's still kind of nice right there. I got my deodorant for six dollars. A couple dollars cheaper than what I paid in the state. To get back up into the resort, I have to go up these stairs. I'm already regretting this decision. I made it. 
Today we went out for lunch at the Blue Gave. People seem to like because of their tacos. They serve chips and guacamole and chile diablo and some was. Mexican salsa. That was the appetizer. And then the entree was they had like tacos and quesadillas for lunch. Oh man. They have different meats that you can choose from. I got a steak and chorizo and James, oh he got sirloin, yes. I got a chicken quesadilla and James got a steak and potato quesadilla and all of our food was excellent. Oh my god. It was so good. That was one of the lunch ones that's available. Blue Agave, it's very close to the pool. The views of the water, the pool, the ocean, beautiful. That's one to check out for sure. Tonight we are eating at the lunch box. That's one of the best things about being an all-inclusive. You can try all kinds of different foods, go to different restaurants, and if you don't like it, you get up and you go to the next. We're gonna try out a couple different restaurants. There are two restaurants that cost extra. The steakhouse is extra, and then the Kana bar is free. Drinks are included, but the food is extra charged. So that's where you have your good seafood, your lobster, um, that kind of thing is down at the Kana. And that's right on the beach. It looks really pretty. We will not be part taking in any of the restaurants that you have to pay extra for. We typically just eat at the ones that are included in the all-inclusive. So pretty, so pretty. I think it's time for a beer. Enrique, when he was walking us around, he was asking us about spring breakers and he said that they just keep coming and coming. Good entertainment for us. I could people watch all day long. Brandy can out party every single one of those kids anyway. She's gonna be doing beer bongs by the time we leave with these 20 year olds partying their asses off. Nice to go hardcore. Cancun, baby. <laughs> this is at the Kana bar. The view that we're sitting here staring at doesn't even seem real. And the area is just super cute. I almost feel like a cocktail is it's like a, a Mexican version of a, a, a bush light or something. <laughs> I don't really know that for sure. But. <laughs> a drink made wrong yet again, <laughs> but it does taste delicious. They will not tell you that they don't know how to make a drink. If you ask them for a drink, they will try to make it. Hey, amigo! How do you make this? And then they try to figure it out. Here at Paradisus, I don't seem too particular on how they're making their drinks. I don't know. I don't know what the f I'm talking about, honestly. So the drinks are included, but the food is extra. This is the one that I was saying has the lobster and the good food. But drinks are included. Okay, so by the pool, there really aren't a whole lot of chairs because People go down there and put some sunblock on it and one shoe and another shoe on another chair and then save it for all their friends. I got in the pool and I walked over to the pool bar today. The pool water was a little bit chilly at first, but once you got in, that stuff felt so good. We keep getting stopped by people that want us to buy excursions and stuff and we plan on doing an excursion. We just are not ready to make the commitment yet on when we're gonna do the excursions, but we keep having to walk past the people that want us to book the excursions. There are the aquamarine people that have the towels. You pick up the towels at the aquamarine desk, which I understand it, but I'm getting really tired of going to pick up a towel and being bombarded with questions about booking a trip. I don't know how I feel about having salesmen hand me towels. I don't think it's very classy. I think that they need to change it. They need to put those towels with Paradisa's staff and not staff from a different company. Like every time we go to get a towel, are you gonna book? Are you ready to book? Have you booked yet? You gotta book by today because I'm not here tomorrow. Hello guys, how are you again? Good, how are you? No, not quite, we're getting there though. Yeah, we are gonna book. However, I'm on vacation and every single time you grab a towel, it is you are bombarded by their salesmen. I mean, they're kind individuals. They chase you down. Brandy always sounds like she's interested. If she'd be more passive like I am, she wouldn't be bothered. So be prepared for that. We were told today that that's a trustworthy company if you would like to book small excursions. Brandy's so proud of herself <laughs> because she knows like two words in Spanish. I know baños and cerveza. In high school, we both took a year of Spanish, which means pretty much nothing. I took Spanish two years, a Spanish one. She took two years of the same Spanish class. <laughs> <laughs> so that doesn't even count. Brandy always talks about wanting to learn Spanish. But when we get back, I think Mama's looking into getting us some Spanish classes. She's not gonna learn Spanish. She truly does want to learn Spanish, but she has no time. <laughs> it's coming down out there. So the rain was just coming down outside. And check out this patio here after the rain. 
that much water. <laughs> yeah, I have to unplug this water out here. It's a little out of control. I'm gonna try to unjam it with this selfie stick. It appears that that is very, very full. We went back and got ready for dinner. Let's test out this shower. Tequila is a popular drink down here, and my husband thinks that we should take tequila shots. We're in Mexico, and it seems to be the only time I can get Brandy to take tequila shots. So we took them periodically throughout the day. We might have gotten too much tequila today. They give you like bottom shelf tequila if you just ask for a tequila shot. So ask for better tequila. I don't really know what they have. We have a video to make here. We can't be taking too many shots of tequila. Shower beer! This is vacation! Too much tequila. And then we went and had dinner at the lunchbox. We thought our reservation was at six o'clock. Our dinner was actually at seven, but we got right in with no issues. I had ribs. My ribs were great. James, he got the whole fish. They explained it to us like it's a grouper, but there's guacamole and there's an eye and that creeps me out. <gasps> oh my, would you look at that. How cute. Come on into my room. And here we are. <laughs> we found that the entertainment here is kind of lacking. We saw the Jersey Boys, just three guys just singing. They had great voices. Three guys that sang a variety of songs. <laughs> I was not impressed. I had a, my first drink that was really good and right, which was a lemonade and vodka, and they didn't have lemonade, so they made lemonade, and it was actually really good, and a margarita. So those two drinks were made correctly, and they were good. Got a drink at the mar got a margarita at the sports <laughs> bar. She almost said, we got a drink at the margarita. Got a drink at the market. Shut up. <laughs> so anyways, we went to the bar at the Lemon Fish restaurant, which I'm so excited to eat at on Thursday. We got some waters to go mm. and uh, went to the buffet because I just think that I always have to try the buffets out. So I went to the buffet for rice. So I got some rice, two different kinds of rice. I got some chips and, guac chips and guacamole. I wanted to get ice cream because the ice cream earlier today was so good. Earlier today, I got coconut ice cream from like there's a poolside gelato place right beside the oyster bar. I think the gelatin is what they call it. There was cone of coconut ice cream with a frozen fruit. It was a blackberry in the center. And I'm telling you what, that coconut ice cream was absolutely delicious. My day is coming to an end. I am falling asleep sitting here. I am very tired. I've had too much tequila. It's, James made me drink tequila today. We're gonna book some adventures tomorrow. I'm ready for a tequila shot. It's time to go to bed, friends. We learned a lot about this resort today, and I think we're gonna learn even more tomorrow. And it's only day two. We'll get a couple more days here, so we'll pick back up tomorrow. We're definitely gonna be going on some excursions here. I'm taking this margarita to bed with me. I'm gonna try not to fall asleep and spill it tonight, like I did to the beer last night. Check a margarita. Hit the like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. I need to go to bed. Too much tequila.